Oh, hello people. Okay, cool. So, I've had another delivery. This is the Rode PSA1 Studio Arm. This is a microphone holding arm um, for my uh, NC1 and AI1 kit. So this is like my microphone Rode is the make, um, my mixer. And what I've had up until now is a microphone stand, which I keep under the bed, but it's always such a palaver to get it out. And I thought it might be easier if I just have one of these microphone arms that a lot of people use for podcasts. And I attach it to my Ikea mom um, chest of drawers here. So I can possibly attach it at the back there with like a little screw on swivel thing at the bottom. Or I can drill a hole through this and um, fix it a bit more permanently so that when I want to do my wrapping, I can just stand over here and do it. So I bought one of these the other day, um, not a road arm, um, it was just a cheap thing from Amazon for £13. While it looked okay, when I got it out of the box, it was absolutely tiny. Um, and it needs to be long because I'm going to be stood up on the side over here. So if I'm stood up, it needs to be able to reach over to me. Um, so that I can actually record my voice into it. So I decided to go with a proper road, um, um, which is the same make as my microphone. I thought, you know, it's all the same make and it's more likely gonna, at least it's like all the same, it's like a bit of uniformity. Um, and this is like more expensive, more robust. There's a longer reach on it. I'm not sure if it will work yet. I want to get it out of the box and kind of have a look. So this is a bit of an unboxing video, a bit. Actually struggle with the box. So a lot of boxes, a lot of bits and pieces. Let's get the actual arm out and have a look at that. See what you think, see how heavy duty it is. So, as far as I understand, the um, springs actually on the inside of the mechanism, so you can't see them on the outside. I did watch some reviews, and apparently, these things are quite noisy when you open and close them, which doesn't really bother me as long as it stays in the same position when it's, um, when it's fixed. And when I'm sat there, when I'm stood there wrapping, then yeah, it wouldn't bother me really, to be honest. So, <laughs> caution, spring loaded. In other words, be careful when you open this because it might just, you know, pow you in the face. <laughs> pow, right in the kisser. Um, so let's have a look here. Let's get rid of that. And, oh, it is spring loaded. Yeah, that would have powed me in the face if I wasn't careful. Okay, cool. So on one side will be where the microphone goes. On the other side will be where it's mounted to the, to the desk. So um, I expect on this side it will be mounted to the desk and on this side is where the microphone is going to go, most probably. So I'm just going to stand over here quickly and just test it out and see if it will actually... I need to just turn this. See if it will actually uh, fit. Oh, oh, can you see me properly there? You might not be able to see me. Okay, cool. So, by the looks of things, there we go. By the looks of things, this might, this might just work, and I could just stand here and do my wrapping. <laughs> Banging! All right, sweet. Let's. Uh, Let's get some more bits and pieces out of the box and see what it's like. I'm just going to leave that open. So this is like the mounting unit here. Oh, so weak. There we go. 
Wow, that's pretty heavy duty. Can you see that? Yeah. So this arm would sit in here like this. And then this would get mounted onto as well. So that would sit together and then this section here would sit on the edge of the of the chest of drawers and just clamp. You know, there's there's the top and this will just clamp under the bottom and then it should stay pretty stable but looks a bit flimsy to me it'll probably work but looks a bit flimsy to me i'm interested in seeing what the drill option looks like where i fix it permanently to the chest of drawers obviously the missus don't doesn't want me to do that but i think it might be cool oh wow that's smart isn't it really smart so you see that? It's like a little, pull that a nut and a bolt. Drill a hole in, pop that in it, screw it up. That'll then just sit rigidly. This sits within that rigidly, like that. And then Bob's your teapot. Yeah, nice, really nice. Wow, that's, that's, that's really nice. I like that. It's a nice feature. Um, I might do it like that, actually. It's pretty cool. I might do it like that. So, let's just get rid of some of this packaging. Nobody likes a messy room, do they? Okay, keep the boxes, though, just in case. I need to return it. Instructions. Just having a quick look. Uh, yeah, works as I've explained it. And some instructions if I want to draw the hole as well, telling me the minimum distance it has to be from the edge and the size of the hole that I need to draw if I want to do it. Cool, really cool. So, more packaging, more packaging. More packaging. Cool. Right, so if I go with this, let's just get the microphone out and see what it will look like. That's quite a smart design because the springs are on the inside. It doesn't seem to be making a noise when I open it. Um, there is, not when I move it around, there is supposed to be a way for me to like fix it in a position, but I'm not sure how I do that yet. Um, but like I say, let me just try, try the mic. Get a feel of what it's like. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. So you can't really see what I'm doing, but this is the end where the mic goes on. This is my uh, mic cage. I think that's what you call it. I may be able to just turn it straight on. Oh, of course I can. Of course I can. Awesome, how cool is that? So that just works. That's really nice. I like that. Uh-huh. I like that. Uh, it's tightening up slowly but surely, I think. Oh no, now it's spinning, sorry. Let me just, oh, I think I just need to tighten it myself here. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, and this should give me a bit of a feel.
feel for what the mic's gonna be like. So it's either gonna be up or down. Let's try and put it up like this. Can you see that? And then So I'm going to have to play with this a little bit, but uh, if I get the actual mic out <laughs> proper road mic really good bit of kit i think they call it a condenser mic i don't know i just buy things okay okay and then that sits on there like that basically well that's a really nice bit of kit actually i've got my um, like a noise guard, stop those p, p, p sounds and p, p sounds and all the rest of it. Cool. So there's a bit of adjusting that I'm going to have to do here. I'm just going to turn the camera around again. Let's see if you can see me. Can you see me? Let's just move this stuff out of the way so you can see me a bit better. So basically, if I do it, so, just grab this. So if I do it, yeah, it should work absolutely fine. If I drill a hole in, the hole would be about there ish. I mean, this is really tall, so I can bring this towards me a little bit somehow, lock it into place, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I think this should be, I think this should be absolutely fine. Um, yeah, perfect, perfect. All right, cool. So I'm going to give this a go, try and get it set up. Um, and then once it's set up, I'll do another little video. So you can get some bars down. Jeez. Right. Until then. Catch you on the flip side.